Welcome back to the show. And we're really happy because we have Cheryl Mayor Cheryl here. And she's going to do another big project with the Big Shot Pro. Yeah? Because yeah. it's so much fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know you've been having a lot of fun with it. That's why. Oh, yes. Uh, when I got this machine, I mean, I've been using it every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> no, because you can cut all kinds of dyes on it. it does, it's not necessarily just a pearl dye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But um, anyways, today, so I'm going to show you how to make this um, cupcake card. This is so cute. <laughs> it really is. Oh, and then, so this is the cupcake cutout part? Yes, that's the cupcake. Yeah, the cutout. That is cute. And there's, it, a lot of, there's a lot of... Yeah. Things involved in this one. And actually, um, the inside is just scraps. So oh. you have the, the little puka here. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, you did a great job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I'm going to show you um, the machine usually comes with everything. So mm -hmm. there's really nothing you have to buy except the die. Okay. And so you have it comes with this tray. Mm -hmm. And um, when you're going to use the pro die, you, you get this platform and it has instructions on it and oh, so okay. the platform goes first into the tray mm -hmm. then you put your cutting pad and you you only get one cutting pad because you, you just need one cutting pad and one crease pad oh okay yeah so this is the crease pad yeah and the dies usually have creases anyways oh I and, see. and so this is the um, the pro die and I'm gonna show you the cut it it's gonna put a piece of paper on there just to show okay. you. And you just lay your paper on top of the die, and then this is the crease pad, mm -hmm. and then you just roll it through the machine. And actually, the crease pad is good because you don't have to keep buying the cutting okay. pads all the time. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, and so it just cuts everything out. For oh, and you. then it did make a nice crease. Yeah, line. it makes a nice crease. And so you would just fold it, and you can embellish your card. Oh, this so this is like um, what do you call those things? It's it's called a mover and shaper. Right. And so it's a mag it's a magnet in here, and so you just place it wherever you want on the die. On this one. Oh. <clears throat> but you you can only use this with the magnet die. You know the dies that have this a, yeah uh -huh. the magnet background on it so you just place it wherever you want it oh. so if you want to put the cupcake here you can do it on that side you know the opposite side of this mm -hmm. or you know wherever and you can use we have other mover and shaper dies too so you can you right. have this and you can just have all right. kinds of different cards yeah because if you just want to do the scallop and maybe do a square shape or a circle you can move you know use oh. another die in here and you get the little cupcake. Yeah. And you get the little cupcake. <laughs> yes, and you so you can use this and make another card with that. Oh. <laughs> but um I'm gonna also I have to um show you how to do the texture impression and to in order to do that you can use your regular platform unit for the big shot machine and your regular cutting oh, pad. This? Right. Okay. And so you have to take that cutting pad out of um your tray. Because if, but you still leave that one. Yeah, you in. still leave the platform in there, and you can just go back and use your regular, um, what do you call platform and your cutting pads. Okay, so I'm You're gonna use this one. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna um, emboss this, and so you just place it. You better place it that way. I just creased it. Okay, so then you you would put it on the no tab. You know the no tab on the platform, and then you just run it through. Yeah, it's like it's like on your um, regular big shot the placement. Mm -hmm. I just love these embossing folders because. The impression comes out really, Real deep. really nice. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah, and our folders, it's, it, like you said, the impression comes out so nice, but then if, I've tried it on tab one, but it comes out really, um, the paper gets kind of stuck in there. So it's probably best to do it on tab, the no tab. No tab. Yeah, <laughs> no tab. No tab. Okay. Okay, so now that you have it all 
um, cut out and emboss, what do you, what do we have to do? Um, so you need to take like a, a blade, a razor blade or um, exacto knife, exacto or knife, and you need to cut a slit like right here on the top. Okay. So you can put your ribbon through. Oh, you see okay. See how the ribbon's decorated. So I figure I'll just do it first, right, and then get that out of the way. And then I took a pencil here because we're going to um, put the scraps on first. Okay. And so you just need to kind of mark where that paper, you know, where your scrap paper is going to go. Uh huh. On the inside. So you okay. wanna. Um, oh, did you like siren that already or something? Yeah. I did. <laughs> so you're just going to take your piece of paper and kind of measure evenly so that it's not going, I guess, across the edge. Mm -hmm. There, oh, wow. see? And you put you this that on. really well. And this is the uh, cupcake part. This is for the candle. Mm -hmm. And this actually is easy and you don't have to, um, you know, it just looks like a cupcake <laughs> already <laughs> made. And so you want to, um, you need to put some of this tape on there because this is going to oh, be... Oh, this one goes on top of that. Yeah. <laughs> you got to make sure I had the right way. Oh. Okay, so that, that's your... That's a fast... That's your cupcake that holder. Fast, <laughs> that was a fast cupcake. Yeah, and then you take another piece of paper. Uh -huh. See, now this is where you use up all your scraps, right? Oh, okay. And you're just going to place this, kind of like center it over. Oh, where you made your slit? Where I made the slit. And actually, you're not really going to see too much of it because I'm going to put... Um, Other this, things. Yeah. But the, <laughs> <laughs> the ribbon is going to go through first, though. Okay. So you're going to place your ribbon through the slit here. Mm-hmm. And it's good to... Use something like soft. I'm not sure. This is so it's not so bulky. Yeah, it's kind of like a silk type of ribbon. Mm -hmm. And like you said, so it's not bulky. It, has an, it kind of just all matches. <laughs> yeah, it sort of has that sort of country vintagey look. Mm -hmm. okay. Very merry. Very merry. Very merry. You mean like Mary Ingle, right? Mary? Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, you put the lace Yeah, on. and then you're just going to cut a piece of lace. And I just stuck it on with glue dots, and you put oh, your pop, kind dot. of pop dots. Yeah, to put your it. pop dots on here. That's great. You're just going to position this. Right there. Trying to get it in the middle. Do you, do you know people who are born in June? Me? Really? <laughs> Not? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Oh, when? <laughs> <laughs> sort of in the middle. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah. interesting. And then um, I just <laughs> took a baker's twine and I just um, threaded it through the button just mm -hmm. to give it some kind of decoration. And then you can just use a glue dot for a glue this. Dot to do that. Yeah. Glue dots are good for buttons. Very. Yeah, that's great. And you just attach that there. Mm -hmm. And then I also have a little a little tag tag there. that I printed out. And you're just gonna attach this underneath your bowl. Oh. And then I have, I got a little um, little applique. Yeah, a little daisy flower, and then you can just put a button on there. Mm -hmm. And this is the the ending, the, the last little, piece, the little yeah, accent there, right there. That is really cute. And this, like I said, it's you know laces. Everything now is sort of lacy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Very <Done>. cute. <laughs> but I really want to thank you for showing us again how to use the Big Shot Pro because. Oh. Like you said, you can use it with your the other dies you had, mm -hmm. and then you can use the big die, so you have right. just so much more possibilities. You, know? you can use other companies' dies also, mm -hmm. besides Sizzix.
great. So you just gotta have that one big machine and you can just go, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Cheryl. You're gonna come back and show us some other stuff later? Sure. Great. Thank you. And and happy birthday whenever your birthday is. Oh. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're gonna take a short break and we'll be right back.